All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er update after day one of NFL free agency. And, of course, we're brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte de Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. All right, let's do a little comings and goings from day one of NFL free agency. And it's pretty obvious that Eric Armstead is going. Uh, Armstead was, the 49ers asked him to redo his deal. He didn't want to do it. They granted him his release. He's now free to go sign with anybody else at this point. So he is no longer a 49er. Um, that's a major loss because you're talking about, you know, your longest tenured player, your best run defender, one of your leaders in the locker room. Huge loss for the Niners to lose Eric Armstead. Um, but it wasn't done there. They also lost Charlie Warner to Atlanta. He went to uh, Atlanta on a three-year deal. Charlie, of course, played at Georgia, so he probably likes the idea of playing back in the Atlanta area. And sure enough, he signs a three-year deal with the Falcons. So the Niners lose their number two blocking tight end. Uh, tonight, it was announced that Javon Kinlaw has, a, has officially flown the coop as well. It's a one-year deal. He's going to rejoin Robert Sala uh, with the New York Jets. So Kinlaw is now a Jet. Um, that's going to be interesting. And then the 49ers did approach Kyle Huschek, asking him to take a pay cut. And we don't have any news yet on if he's going to, if he's not going to, if he's going to be released, if, they, if he's going to take a pay cut. So he's obviously thinking it over. So he could be coming. He could be going. Um, we don't know on the man they call Juice. And um, the Minnesota Vikings have targeted Sam Darnold as a player quarterback they would like to have. And there's a chance that Darnold is no longer a Niner um, going forward. You know, it sounds like the Vikings have interest in maybe with Kirk Cousins moving on maybe giving the starting job to Sam Darnold. So we'll find out there if Darnold is going to be moving on to the Vikings, but it really sounds like it. So Darnold moving on. Hughes Jack could be moving on. Kinlaw is moving on. So is Charlie Warner. And so is Eric Armstead. So the Niners could be down as many as five football players. Um, just on the guys who departed today. So now how about on the other side of things? Well, the Niners did sign a couple of defensive ends. They signed Leonard Floyd, uh, the former Ram, former Bear, uh, two years, $20 million on the deal for Floyd. He's a speed rusher. He's 31. I think he's an outstanding speed rusher. Um, he's played for Staley before. He's got a motor that never stops. He's really, really athletic. Talking about a 6'6", 245-pound, 250-pound uh, blur. I mean, he's so fast off the edge. So I like this move. I think he's better than Randy Gregory. I think he's better than Chase Young at this point. So they add Leonard Floyd, but they weren't done there because they also added Yatir Ma uh, Gross Matos. And both guys get a two-year deal. For Floyd, it's two years, $20 million. For Yatir Gross Matos, it's two years, and $18 million. And Matos is really an interesting guy. Um, he comes over from the Carolina Panthers. He played collegiately at Penn State. He was a second-round pick in 2020. Um, and so he agrees to a two-year deal for $18 million. Gro Gross Matos is only 26. So uh, he's really, really young. And so you had a younger Gross Matos and a little bit older Leonard Floyd. Um and, you know, Gross Matos has always been a guy with huge, huge potential. And we started to see that come of age or come to fruition. You know, that potential started to kind of realize itself this last year. Um, this is a guy who's experienced some real tragedy in his life. You know, in 2000, when he was a young boy, um, him and his two, his father and his mother and his two siblings um, were all on a boat in the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland. And um, Gross Matos fell off the boat and caused uh, Michael and Chester to dive into the water to save him. Michael was able to save his son and handed him to Chester, who swam back to the boat. But Michael fell victim to water and drowned. So his father drowned trying to save him 
on a boat in 2000. And then if that's not enough tragedy for one family, June 3rd of 2009, his older brother Chalal died. He was struck by lightning on the middle of a baseball field. So this guy is, has fought through a lot of tragedy in his life. Um, and it's just, it's, it, it, I'm sure it has not been easy. Um, and he was a very raw player early in his career and then became a top 150 recruit nationally out of high school by rivals.com. Um, you know, he was really good at Penn state. He had 111 tackles and 19 sacks in three seasons and then declared for the NFL draft as a junior. He was a first team, all big 10 selection in his final season there. So, um, you know, you're talking about a guy who's got a huge body, 6'5", 266, a wingspan of 82 and a fourth inches. And he's just now coming into his own. He's been kind of a late bloomer. Um, so Gross Matos comes to the Niners, and he's he is one of the Niners' new additions today. Uh, so you got Leonard Floyd in. You got Yatir Yeti, Gross Matos in. Uh, the 49ers also are meeting with uh, safety Rayshon Jenkins who could be an addition. We'll see. Uh, they restructured the contract of Fred Warner. And uh, there's a lot of rumors that the Niners have interest in Levante David as a linebacker, maybe to replace Trey Greenlaw for a year. Uh, the Niners also re-signed quarterback Brandon Allen. Allen gets a one-year deal. And the Niners place a second-round tender on restricted wide receiver Jawan Jennings. So Jennings will play this year at $4.6 million if nobody else gives him a deal. So there you go. That was the news of the day. And we are also brought to you uh, by our newest sponsor. Um, And let's hear from them right now. A little word from our newest sponsor. Have you ever typed your name on the internet and seen all of your private information is online? Are you tired of receiving tons of spam calls from random numbers? Are you receiving more and more of these as time has gone on? Well, that's where Aura, the sponsor of today's show, can really help you out. Data brokers sell your information to scammers and spammers and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, your email, your home address, all your records, your health records, who your relatives are. It's all out there. That's why I've been using Aura. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but it also protects me from hackers who could use the information to help them access my social media accounts, my bank accounts, or any other sensitive information. Aura also does so much more to protect me and my family from online threats I can't see. I get other features like antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more without having to download several different apps. It's really easy to set up. And best of all, I get everything at one affordable price. I value my privacy and I value yours. You can go to the link in the description to start your two-week free trial. All right, that's our newest sponsor, Aura. Thanks to Aura for sponsoring the Krug Show. And thanks, of course, to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show. So just to sum it up, you know, it sounds like Eric Armstead, Charlie Warner, Javon Kinlaw, definitely leaving. Sam Darnold and Kyle Huschek likely leaving. Leonard Floyd, Yatir Gross Matos are coming. Um, Fred Warner, Jawan Jennings, and Brandon Allen are staying. And you may see the Niners in the next couple of days add Rayshon Jenkins and linebacker Levante David. So that's where we sit after one day of NFL free agency. Thanks to Aura. Thanks to Underdog, uh, thanks to, uh, Underdog Fantasy, a proud sponsor of the Crook Show as well. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. And thanks to you guys as well for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.